Classification of glycosides on the basis of a glycone. Okay, here you can see that there are number of different types of glycosides based on a glycone. So first one is cardiac glycosides, which is also called steroidal glycosides. Then anthraquinone glycosides based on uh, anthraquinone ring. Saponin glycosides, cyanophore glycoside, isothionine, cyanate glycoside, lactone glycosides, aldehyde glycoside, and miscellaneous glycosides. Now one by one we will uh, discuss the. Uh, detail of each glycoside. Now, first of all, we will discuss about what is uh, cardiac glycosides, which are also called steroidal glycosides because uh, they have a steroidal ring. So, that's why they are called steroidal glycosides and they have effect on cardiac muscles. So, that's why they are also called cardiac glycosides. So, here we have introduction, brief introduction about the uh, cardiac glycosides and these were used as drugs in 15 since 15 BC. Glycosides were used as poison, emetics, diuretics and heart tonic in past. They interact with calcium, intracellular calcium, intracellular calcium and, uh, and they increase the sensitivity of myocardial contractile proteins. Basically, they increase the uh, contractility of the heart muscle. If in cardiac glycoside, their aglycone part is steroid. Here you can see that this is the basic steroidal rings ring structure. There are few important positions like carbon number 3, this is carbon number 3 and uh, and then carbon 14 and carbon 16, carbon 16, carbon 14 and carbon 17 for the substitution. These are important points for the substitution. Cardiac glycosides are further divided into two categories and uh, bufodinoloids and cardinoloids. So, Cardinoloid, here you can see that this is the structure of cardinoloids. They have extra uh, extra ring which is called but butyrol lactone ring, while bufadinoloid has a pyrone ring. Bufadinoloids are 24 carbon compound and here you can see that and uh, cardinoloid has 23 carbon. So cardinoloid are present in leguminaceae family, cruciferi family, euphorbiaceae family while uh, Bufadinoloids are present in Liliaceae and Ranunculaceae family. Now, first example of cardiac glycoside is Digitalis. Digitalis botanical name is uh, Digitalis purpurea. Purpurea means purple because this plant have uh, purple color flowers, so that's why it's called Digitalis purpurea. Family is Sucrofulariaceae and part uses dried leaves. Other common name for this plant is foxglove, purple foxglove, finger flower, fairy glove and vernacular name of this plant is fairy fingers and it is widely distributed in western Europe. Other than that it is also found in Asia, uh, North America, Canada and much of the US regions and uh, almost 20 species are available. Plantagenesis families is another name of Sucrofulraceae family. Leaves are dark grayish green in color, they are orderless. They have bitter taste and uh, their shape is lanceolate or too broadly ovate. The size is 10 to 30 centimeter long and 4 to 10 centimeter wide. Active constituents present in Digitalis, uh, Digitalis purpurea, uh, purpurea glycoside A, purpurea glycoside B. Leucogital leucoxin is also present in leaves. Now you can see the structure of purpurea glycoside A. You can see it's a cardinoloid because it contains butyrolactone ring and uh, this is a glycone and these are the sugar molecules. So this is the purpurea glycoside A. Here we can see the uh, enzymatic hydrolysis of purpurea glycoside A. When we remove one glucose molecule from uh, purpurea glycoside A then we will obtain uh, digitoxin. We do further hydrolysis of uh, digitoxin and then digitoxygenin and three digitoxos are obtained and this is, this is the structure of digitoxin and this is the structure of digitoxygenin.